What if I told you that your children were being exposed to hardcore pornography and sexually explicit content through their schools, through the school library computers? And what if I told you that some of those articles that they're being led to read were advising them on how to engage in, in torture sex or BDSM and encouraging them to try out things like public sex or group sex or just hooking up? Would you believe me? I didn't even believe that this was happening. And I'm with the National Center on Sexual Exploitation hearing these kinds of things all of the time. But we started to research this and look into these allegations. And we found that one company in particular is really responsible for pushing this kind of content to our middle schools, our elementary schools, and our high schools. And that company is EBSCO Information Services. They are an online resource database. They provide a myriad of products to, um, to K through 12 schools, to libraries, medical schools, law firms, etc. And we found that in their products that they market to K through 12 schools, they have dozen, a dozen or so products that they market to these age groups, that they're categorically filled with explicit content. And that much of this content is showing up with really super innocent searches. For example, I tried one of their products called Science Reference Center, and I, as though I was a seventh grader, and I typed in the filter seventh grade biology, and up popped many articles that were sexually explicit in nature and not at all really related to biology. One in particular that showed up on the first page was a car had cartoon images on it and then encouraged you to try to get a woman to say yes and then to engage in BDSM, public and anal sex and said that everyone's doing it so basically why not give it a try. I mean this is crazy and yet they've been getting away with this for so long because nobody has spoken up about it except for a few very brave parents who have recognized that this was happening. Um, and so we're here to help shine a light on this problem in our school systems. I don't think that our schools want this to be happening. I truly believe that they want to provide a safe environment. They want to help curb sexual exploitation and not put students at risk. I even think that EBSCO themselves cares about these issues, but they haven't shown the responsibility or taken the measures needed um, to help better filter their services. Um, they actually rely on <laughs> a system called Lexile to be able to sort through the content in their services. And this Lexile is a kind of simplistic measure that measures the reading level of content. Essentially, if words are easier and smaller, then they're for the younger ages. And the reality is that pornography is low reading level material. The, the language in pornography is a low lexile word. And so this material is, is being shoved into the system that our elementary and middle school users are, are accessing. And so we are calling on this change. For this reason, we have named EBSCO Information Services to our annual Dirty Dozen list, which names major facilitators to sexual exploitation in America. This is a huge problem. The fact that our country is awash in sexual violence, in sex trafficking, in prostitution, in rape culture, objectification. I mean, we have to start curbing these problems at young ages, and that starts with our elementary and middle school children. And we can't be putting them at risk and normalizing this type of behavior, which is what they're getting right now through these systems. I invite you to learn more about this. It sounds complicated. It sounds unbelievable. We've done our best to provide really clear explanations and proof about this happening. Um, so we invite you to learn more at our website, insexualexploitation.org slash EBSCO. There you can learn how you can get involved, how you can help make sure that your schools are safe, and how you can speak out. You can contact the executives of EBSCO themselves. We invite you to join us. I mean, this is just unbelievable that we are seeing the rampant proliferation of pornographic and explicit content to these young, young ages. And so join with us in helping to curb the public health crisis resulting from pornography. Thank you so much.